Good morning. I'm Heathcliff, founder of Everyone Matters. And um, I wanted to share what was on my mind today, which is courage. How's that for a word? Old fashioned word, word we don't think about much. Uh, I've been thinking about it. Well, I wrote an op ed today for the New York Times, not that they know about it, but I sent it to them. We'll see what they say. Um, I thought about my parents. I'm older than most of you, and my parents lived through the Depression and World War II. And it was kind of like there in the background of by osmosis about oh, the value of money and sacrifice or whatever. Um, just the idea that they were um, honed, raised, shaped by the adversity, sacrifice, difficulty. And as we now find ourselves um, confronted with the kind of world that we never expected, the kind of fear and issues, um, changes um, economically, financially, health-wise. Um, I just thought about their generation and they were more used to that kind of adversity and sacrifice and deprivation. And, um, and so the word courage came up. My dog is <laughs> passing by. <laughs> you saw the little feet. He was going to get water. Um, I just, again, back to courage. Um, I just feel like I am determined to, it's not a matter of falsely be strong, but it's kind of we have to make the choice of how we deal with the challenges. And I am determined to live with courage and to face the adversity and what happens as long as I remain healthy, I'm staying home and protecting myself as much as I can. Um, I'm just determined to face it with strength and courage and do what I can. Um, I started taking, I started a mindfulness uh, app last night and I've been doing exercises on YouTube. Um, and I just want to have the kind of courage in the face of adversity and the, against the perils that we face. I can't even say exactly what that means other than my perspective on it and how I intend and would like to deal with what it looks very fearful come in the present and future. So I just wanted to share that with you, to think about your own lives and um, what matters. I said that yesterday in my video, what matters most? And uh, that's, I want to live with courage. And I made a list, as I said yesterday, I made a list just a few minutes ago of some people who I want to reach out to to say hello. And it isn't just my close friends. It's um, a, a few people who, as one person, for example, that Marilyn Williams, who I have never even met. She worked at Best Buy when they were a partner in our project. She was wonderful, and she had lives with spirituality and faith and generosity, and she's always been supportive of me and my projects and been very loving and outreaching, and it's helped, even though we've never met. Just a kind word and being loving makes such a difference to, for people to, for us to say to somebody else, you matter, and I care about you. How are you doing? Anyway, that's my message for today. Courage and being loving. Thanks.